Hey, what's up guys? How is everybody doing on this fine day today? So the topic I want to talk about is feeling stuck in the past or feeling sad about memories of the past. And I had this interesting realization just now where I discovered that whenever we feel sad about the past it's usually when we are not being in the moment right now and we remember a specific situation or a specific person or a specific feeling that we used to have or that used to be there in our lives or specific activity or whatever it is right and we remember us feeling good in that moment or we remember us being fond of that person or we remember us being um, excited or feeling loved or whatever it is and we compare it to our current state so that will usually cause us to feel sadness because we are nostalgic about the good moments that used to be and right now we feel as if we don't feel as good as we used to back then and that makes us sad because we are comparing our current situation with something that we think was better However, it's important that we realize that comparing our current state with another moment in time is the root cause of most of our suffering. By comparing what happened to what is happening right now, we usually have memories that are skewed they are usually more good than they maybe were back then or even not but by comparing that feeling and even romanticizing it maybe a little bit and then comparing it to our current state we we suffer and it's very important to be aware that we engage in behavior like that because whenever you get aware, whenever you are aware of the fact that you are feeling sad because you're comparing your current situation with something that used to be, whenever you realize that you're doing that, you can then choose to focus your attention on something else. You can choose to switch your attention on things that are happening right now that you can actually be grateful for right for example feeling grateful for the fact that you had such an experience in the past that brings you back to the now right because feeling grateful is something feeling a certain feeling is something you can only do right now so if you learn to focus your attention on feeling grateful for having had the opportunity to experience that specific um, activity or to hang out with that specific person or to share magical moments in whatever setting you were at at the time by feeling grateful for that moment for having had the experience of that wonderful scenery by doing that you can then allow yourself to come back into the present moment and feel good in this moment without having to compare it to an earlier state where you think you felt better so you can actually bring back that sense of wholeness and peace by focusing your attention on things that you are grateful for and trust me there are so many things for example what I just said being grateful for the memory you have, the ability to have had that experience. Another thing might be that you are grateful for the fact that you are alive right now or that you are able to 
take a hot shower or that you can go for a walk stuff like this by bringing your attention into the now and focusing your attention on things that you can be grateful for right now that will alleviate the sadness you feel because you cannot feel intense gratitude and sadness at exactly the same time you can have a melancholic gratitude that is definitely possible um, but it's so much more comfortable than this heavy sad feeling right and we sometimes we just like to keep ourselves there in the sad feelings we like to stay there we like to marinate in it you know because ah, oh, it used to be so good in the past and oh now right now i feel so sad and my life is not what i want it to be etc etc um so my computer just sends me a message that my disk is almost anyways i have to be careful that my video doesn't cut off because of the space it takes um, so I lost my train of, train of thought now. Do, do, do. So by by allowing ourselves to feel sad and then noticing it, being aware, and then accepting that we feel like that and then focusing our attention on something else, which is gratitude, which is the things we are working towards, the path we are walking on, stuff like that, right? Grateful, gratefulness, gratitude is a very, very powerful tool whenever you feel sad and stuck in the past. Um, and, and by realizing that the root of the suffering is the comparison between your current state and your previous state. And it's in contrast to the future, right? Because future usually causes anxiety. It's a more fearful state rather than the past which causes more sadness because the future is uncertain we don't know what's going to happen and we cannot imagine the future because we, we can imagine the future but we cannot ex have a memory of its experience that's what I'm trying to say because it has not happened yet so because there is so much uncertainty the past is certain because it happened right even though our memory is very flawed um, I'm going to make another video about how flawed our memory is and how our perception can change our memory drastically. Um, but the past is fixed, right? It, it's happened, it has happened, it is certain in a sense. The future is not. The future is uncertain, which causes anxiety because we fear that it might be worse than what we are experiencing right now. So it causes anxiety. So it's, a, it's an interesting... Um, kind of like scale you know because in the past you have the the sadness and in the future you have the anxiety and by realizing this you can bring your attention back to where you are now and if you're anxious about the future you can start to focus on on goals on things you want to achieve on things you're working on right now on things you are becoming you know because by doing that you can then almost assure your future to be better than the place you're you find yourself in right now right because you're just continuously improving yourself continuous improvement you're working on yourself every single day so it will be better in the future of course there can be external circumstances that you have no control over but by learning to regulate your own emotions by increasing your emotional awareness by increasing your focus muscle by by increasing the amount of focus you can exert on certain things by directing your attention by learning to do this by developing the skill you can ensure that whenever there is an external circumstance that is very challenging you can then count on the skills you've been developing over time right so the future can be a bright place if you commit yourself to continuous improvement every single day and when you feel like you're sad about the past realize that this is because you're comparing your current feelings with what used to be and you can combat this by first becoming aware realizing that oh i'm thinking these sad negative thoughts about what used to be oh my life is never going to be as good as that that was such a wonderful moment i've never experienced that ever again ever since right 
you notice that you're doing this, you're creating a loop in your head, a negative state of mind, a downwards energy draining, sad feeling, right? And realize that sometimes we want to keep ourselves there because it's kind of comfortable to stay in this kind of mindset because we then don't have to exert energy to get us out of there. You know, it's sometimes it's the path of least resistance to keep thinking about, oh, my life was so good back then and everything was so much more fun and, and whatever it is, right? And then you don't have to face the current challenges because you can kind of stay in this fantasy world, right? So by realizing that, becoming aware, that's the first step. Then when you are aware, when you became aware of you having these negative loops in your mind, then focus your attention on, on gratitude, on being grateful for the fact that you are able to have this experience, on feeling grateful for whatever situation you find yourself in right now. I am so grateful and thankful for being able to work on myself every single day and grow as a person. I am so grateful and thankful for being able to wake up every morning with new energy to make things happen. I am so grateful and thankful for being compassionate and kind and able to have a positive impact on the world, etc. Like there are so many things you can be grateful for, right? And if you then focus your attention on those things, you will see that the sad feelings, they will start to morph into a more peaceful, tranquility kind of um, state, a, a tranquil, peaceful, relaxed state. And the way these things will morph, the sadness will morph, is by allowing it to be there. So it's fine, it's okay to feel nostalgic about the past. It's all right, it's perfectly okay. By allowing it to be there, by realizing, by becoming aware, by allowing it and then focusing your attention on the gratitude, you will see that it will dissolve. Because if you resist it, if you're like, oh, I should not feel sad about this, I'm not supposed to feel sad about this, then you are gonna keep it you, you're gonna keep it there. What, whatever you resist persists and it's so true. When you're fighting the negativity, when you're fighting the sadness, it's gonna become worse because you get frustrated and there is more negative energy added on top of the, the, the already heavy sad feelings and it will cause it to, to perpetuate, to keep, it will keep you there. So become aware, allow it and focus your attention on something you can be grateful for or many things you can be grateful for or get up and go do something right that's another another thing you can do whenever you feel like you're sad and you don't feel like doing anything pull out the list of things that make you feel good about yourself I talked about this in earlier videos it's a very 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 powerful tool so I highly recommend you uh, you create a list like this and you, you scroll through it and you find something that you like and you go do that and you'll see that the sadness, it will kind of disappear a little bit because you moved yourself from a place of inactivity and sadness to a place of taking action towards making yourself feel better. And that in and of itself is a super valuable thing to do because it will build your self-confidence, it will build your trust, it will build your power, your strength, because you realize that, okay, whenever I'm feeling in a bad place mentally, I can get up and take action towards making myself feel better and to realize that is is so powerful it's amazing because then you gain so much um how would i say agency your agency increases and you feel less of a a slave or a play ball of your emotions and your feelings because you can realize that oh i actually do have control over this and not like you cannot exert control on the way you feel or the thoughts you're having. No, it's more about being able to decide, okay, right now I feel these negative things. I decide to allow them to be there. And at the same time, I decide to take action towards moving myself from this state to another. And the, the system, your system will take care of itself. It will, it will change your in, inner state. It will change your feelings and it will, it will morph into something else. And that's always how it goes. Your feelings, are in constant flux 
constant flow. So they're forever changing. And that is what makes it so interesting also, right? And you can nudge them in a specific direction by focusing your attention on specific things. So yes, that those were my quick thoughts on feeling nostalgic and sad about the past or feeling anxious about the future and realizing that the root of most of our suffering stems from comparing ourselves or our current state to another state that used to be better or potentially can be worse that that causes so much mental conflict and mental tension and a lot of considerably negative feelings so we want to stay aware whenever that happens and then focus on things in the present moment and the gratitude stuff it's 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 powerful because it it brings you back into the now right i am so grateful and thankful for you have to think of things in this very moment like it can be a thing that happened in the past like i'm so grateful and thankful for all the time I was able to spend with my grandmother and she was so inspiring, all right? It's something that happened in the past, but it brings you back into the now because you can feel the gratitude right now. You can feel the gratitude for your grandmother and all the time you spend with her right now. And that's that's amazing because then you can take these thoughts that cause that usually cause sadness, these thoughts from the past that usually cause you to feel sad or nostalgic, um, and then you can... You can turn them into something that that empowers you, that energizes you, right? And if you if you continue to do this every time you find yourself feeling like, first of all, allow yourself to feel sad, right? That's what I said earlier. It's okay to feel sad. It's okay to to think back to the past and feel nostalgic about it. It's all right. However, the more you practice putting your attention on the fact that you can be grateful for having had this experience the more you practice this the more you condition yourself the more you condition your mind to catch yourself quicker whenever you find yourself in this loop and then you'll catch yourself faster and instead of 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes be like oh it's so nice and fantasizing and right now my life is so bad and i feel so sad about the whole thing and this and that and i miss this person or i miss that or whatever it is right and you feel you feel sad and stuck and down Instead of 20 minutes being in that place, you can now put it, turn it into five minutes or, or two or even one. The more you practice, the quicker you'll catch yourself. And the easier it will be to, to allow it to be there and move on and go to something else. And then you'll find yourself way less, spending way less time in this state of mind, right? And it might pop up a few times a day sometimes even you know or maybe even every hour or whatever right it can be like that sometimes and then the the quicker you're able to catch yourself the less time you will spend in this this fixed state this stuck feeling and i believe that is that is that is a good thing the the, the more awareness the more awareness you cultivate the more agency you will feel and the more empowering thoughts and feelings you will have and the more energy you will you will you will cultivate inside yourself to move towards your goals to move towards the purpose to move towards who you're supposed to be and um, that is a good thing because the world needs you and the world um, counts on people to work on themselves and to look inwards and to to continuously improve themselves day by day by day so yes that's all i wanted to say on this topic maybe i'll make another video about it in the future when my thoughts are a little bit more concise and precise um, but for now i want to thank you for being brave i want to thank you for looking inwards i want to thank you for making yourself and thus the world a better place one step at a time and as always thanks for watching Talk soon, guys. Bye.